I am Rajkumar Roy, Professor of Competitive Design at Cranfield University in UK. We have just completed the first day of CIRP conference on Industrial Product Service System. And we are really fortunate to have Professor Holstmeyer here with me to talk about what he means about Industrial Product Service Systems why CIRP is getting involved in industrial product service systems. So Professor Meyer, what is your view about industrial product service system? We hear so much about product service system, industrial product service system. For the audience, I think it will be really good if you tell us your views on industrial product service system and how does it actually differ from selling just products like selling a car, for example. I think it's really important to make clear what the difference is. And you mentioned already there are product service systems and other abbreviations uh, of product service systems in the market, in the research market. And I think what is really important is that we don't try just to have an add-on approach. Yes, to have a product and to put some services onto this product, to, to bundle it. Our approach in IPS Square has to be a little bit deeper, a little bit more uh, uh, research oriented and uh, I think we have to manage uh, a huge research task to find out how to develop such a product service system together from the very early beginning up to the use phase and I think that is the most important part of our approach to product service system and we called it industrial product service system because we focus on the production and uh, assembly lines in uh, manufacturing companies so that's I think it's important to know and we don't focus on uh, business to customer uh, product service systems but the other question what is different if we look to a car today we can see a car is developed just to have a low uh, fuel consumption or to uh, have a good comfort to have a uh, guiding systems and, and something like that and I think especially in this car field uh, this product services hasn't not established as much today because uh, we can see some rent companies you can rent a car you can buy mobility but the car producer itself I think is still focusing on the product and he, he is just trying to add some services but I think it's quite poor and I don't know a customer and a car producer who is really selling product service systems now. Thank you. I also know that you are leading TR29 project which is a very big research project in industrial product service system and you are also the chairman of industrial product service system working group within CIRP. What's your vision about research direction? What are the research directions in industrial product service systems? I think the most challenging part is that we have to think in an other way. Today, for example, all companies in this field of machine tool business are focusing on leadership in technology. And I think we have to keep in mind that the customer doesn't focus on leadership in something. He wants the best product, the best solution, uh, the best customer value for him. So, and if you take this in mind, I think you will get a completely different approach to machine tools. And so in uh, this approach, we have research um, demands in the whole life cycle. It starts uh, with the part of uh, marketing. How to tell a customer that he, what, what, or how to find out what a customer really wants. And so our approach is to have such a new requirement <coughs> engineering for product and service parts. And we don't like to separate it in this phase of development <coughs> and then even in the conceptual phase we don't like to separate between service and product parts but if we go to this field of uh, the real developing <coughs> of the product and service okay then we have mechanical engineering we have CAD systems we have hydraulic electronics but we miss how to develop an industrialized service process and there I think is also a reach and a huge research demand uh, then the next uh, challenges approaches by how to deliver, how to provide such a system. 
and it has to be provided in a way that we can compete with others. So it has to be very efficient. And that raises the question, is it possible to standardize, to industrialize, or to automize mm -hmm. such uh, product service systems? And uh, the second very important uh, issue in this field of delivery of service is how to generate knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also to make clear, do we really earn money with it? So we have also this controlling uh, aspects, how do we uh, adjust or how do we uh, calculate such a product service system so that we don't lose money and there are lots of other activities around this and I know you are very involved in risk management and risk analysis I think that is also very important all this together uh, brings us to completely new business models yes and that is I think the main change in this uh, approach of industrial product service systems that we have we, that we have also to develop new business models. Thank you very much for that. And can I just pick up on one area of co-creation of value with, with customers? Can you give us example within machine tool sector? How could you work with your customer to create new value? Okay, we have carried out some research project in Germany and one research project uh, was really surprising because the customer first wants to buy a machine tool. And then uh, during our discussions within our research project it uh, was found out that he really doesn't he doesn't really buy or wants to buy such a machine uh, because there were there are some special boundary condition he needs this machine only for three years mm -hmm. and uh, he wasn't very familiar with this process and so they decided to uh, build up a new business model in this case an availability based business model and uh, the customer uh, pays only for the availability of machine. And at, uh, finally what came out was a real win-win situation because the machine tool manufacturer earned more money than before by selling of machines and it was really a surprise for him and it was not more expensive for the uh, customer. So the question is where comes the money from? But I can't answer this question. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, related to that research question comes the issue about skill. You know, both yourself and us at Cranfield, we are doing research in industrial product service systems using multidisciplinary approach. But we have to also create next generation of you know, researchers, technicians, yeah, yeah, yeah. engineers. What's your view about new skills we may need in industrial product service system? I think we've focused for a very long time on new skills for engineers and I think uh, in this field of industrial product service system or product service systems, we do not n uh, need really new skills, but we have to bring more this interdisciplinary thinking. Yes, and uh, that uh, people are very important in, in service processes, even if you are able to automate something, but uh, you, will need, uh, you will still need people to carry out service processes. So the human factor is very important in this context, and uh, we have to find out new teaching uh, uh, approaches for our students to get more familiar with such interdisciplinary teams, and uh, also to teach them to handle in global organizations. I think that are the main uh, issues for uh, renew our, our teaching approach. Uh, in this, uh, I think that, that's, that's the main issue. If we can master this and manage this, uh, then we will also able to create uh, good uh, product service systems engineering. Thank you very much. And this is what we have been doing all day today in CIRP Industrial Product Service System Conference at Cranfield University. We had very good discussion about different research directions. We discussed about new skills people may need, including multidisciplinary approach where we have to develop human skill more than what we are doing today in engineering education. At Cranfield, we are researching all of these areas and we are collaborating with multiple disciplines, for example, management science to engineering to applied sciences and all working together to solve the problem of industrial product service systems. Thank you.